Wait, you're not watching my broadcast anymore? It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his imperial majesty by his full so title good or not graphics. at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Catherine, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Getting a new look. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. Why can't I see him cut my beard? And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at the back. Oh <laughs> Movran Boris, commander of the Alba division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, which, uh, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Herald <laughs> of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arrow. Test ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? Left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squiretel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. We forge interesting alliances. He looks better with Something his beard. tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Mui. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. I don't know. I, know I care about her. They don't tell us I that much. To rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. I don't remember. Lovegard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. <sighs> An old acquaintance, more like. Not so close that I felt bad for her, but close enough that I knew she deserved it. He believes he alone knows what is good and what is evil. And that this gives him the right to dispense justice. Your comrade Letho of Gullet described you so. Quite accurate, I'd say. My comrade, your agent. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches in group. Well, that alliance 
alliance has been dissolved, irrevocably. I killed Letho and Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agents some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc. Et Here, um, here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Garrett. Good luck with your audience. So many scars. Feels more like I'm being ready for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. What to wear? Three choices. Hmm. Hmm. So that. Mm hmm. Well, I like that, but I also like this. Wait, are they the same? They look the same. I'll just choose this one. Oh, yeah, I can take all. Yeah, yeah. More clothes for me. I'll just wear that, I guess. Oops. Uh, I guess they're all the same boots. Okay. Okay, ooh, and I can always wear a towel whenever I want. What? How does that work? The towel gives more armor than... How does that work? Oh, well, it's the same. I guess it's the same. It's the pants. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Looks nice with that. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? How do he looks clothes? weird without his beard. No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. 
leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh god, oh it's a chest. Um, oh god. Two. Where are you up to speed now? Lacking fluidity and no, you grace. get wrong. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Hi. That was scary. I got it wrong, but he still the accepted it. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Kill them. In Grimmy et Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn et Marvut. Emir Var Emreis. Wow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Pavilion Namim, vat gun favot. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war? to discuss a rumor. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. Okay. Got this. Sure. It's not a test. That one must bow to the emperor. Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. First thing in the morning. Have the knowledge of etiquette for one day. No. No. You accept any answer. So trippy when you go into Wild Hunt. Oh, 
in red grain of that and self-pick them up. The set length and that do not mark. And self-pick them sick like them. You'll never beat my um high score on well, my win streak on there. No, I'm not talking about kills. I'm talking about wins. I've 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 won 15 times in a row. I'm still on the roll. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm hmm And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. So they're our agents now? My, my, you've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed, but I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, You're hunting poor. me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the wild hunt does. So where's Ciri been seen exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting.
curse happened. Can I do that? How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. But now we made him leave. Wait, what about my stuff? sword oh, so this one's stronger source yes can as green Available. What do you want? What now? What are they doing? We all talk to you. Hmm. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. See you later.